Thank you. Thank you for coming out this evening. My name is Graham Fowler. And I guess I'm missing a slide here, but I'll just wing it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. While we're building a world-class industry, we need to ramp up production. And to do that, we need to build infrastructure in Ontario to consume the product and develop the R&D that we're going to need to be world-class competitors. So we have to work with the government. And we need to have mechanisms in place that are going to hold the government accountable so that as we move forward, we have a stable industry. So the pricing committee has worked very uh, diligently, and a couple of members have come up with some really good ideas. And the first assumption is that we really need volume-based tranches. So FIT 1.0, if we can call it that, is a time-based tranche of two years. And we all see the problems that occurred. So by switching to a volume-based tranche, we give the government the opportunity to work with the LDCs and Hydro One to establish where the load is and where the connections can be made. From there, they can throw out a representative number and let the developers know where the capacities can be built. And this, of course, is, is based on volume. So the government doesn't have to worry about getting into a situation where they can't possibly process all the applications. And the developers are not in a position where they are putting in applications for things that don't have any chance of getting developed. So we did a simple table here, and we, we did 10 tranches. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the word tranche, it's just a, a word we use for the next edition. So FIT2 is a tranche, FIT3 is a tranche. And in a volume-based tranche, we, we just chose 500 megawatts as a representative number. We then segmented the, the size of the uh, installations into three tiers, which CANSI uses as their standard. The greater than 500 kilowatts, which is the large installation, less than 500 kilowatts, but greater than 10, is the small, and micro is the 10 or less. We, we chose some prices that we feel are representative, but we're going to be working on pricing this week. And uh, Wesley is uh, going to be giving a little bit more accurate pricing for the next tranche 2.0. But we just rounded off some numbers here. So as we go from uh, the first tranche, which would be FIT 2.0, to let's say the 10th tranche, purely fictitious, we want to try and come down to some sort of grid parity. And when we're talking about grid parity with small and micro, we're obviously talking about the price for peak power. Um, so, oh yes, this, uh, this is here. Now, the number of tranches obviously will evolve uh, and, and the government will try and develop those tranches to meet the long-term energy needs. Um, and, and of course, that's going to be uh, a mix of volume and, uh, and price. And this, of course, I think will change as time goes on. I, I don't think the government can predict with a long-term energy plan all the way to 2030. So depending on, on what happens with, with other generators like nuclear and, and uh, hydro, uh, I think, uh, and what goes on in the world elsewhere, um, this will obviously influence what we do in solar. <coughs> I just want to explain how this, this chart works. Um, each tier would operate independently of the other two tiers. 
And as a tear reaches capacity, it automatically moves to its next tranche. Each successive tranche has a new price and volume indices. And the next tranche should be activated within 30 days of the current tranche closure. This, this would be a mechanism that would force government to keep things moving. They can't just close a, a tranche and then do nothing for six months. We're saying we need a period of time that everybody agrees to that when a tranche closes or a tier within a tranche closes, that you will publish the next tranche within a certain time frame. We chose 30 days. If you don't publish the next tranche and move on within that time frame, then we say the next tranche will automatically be the same as the as the existing one, or the one that just closed. So that's, uh, that's how we, we uh, envision the volume tranche. And I'm going to hand it over to Wesley, who will uh, continue to talk about pricing.